Alright, what is up everybody? So, thanks to watching Bandmade, I reacted to them, and then seeing that uh, they're inspired by the, uh, you know, that <laughs> one of the members founded the band uh, and worked in a maid cafe and then took into the playoff of that for the band. Uh, you know, people get curious. What the heck exactly is a maid cafe? So, we about to take and find out. So, this is the truth behind Japanese maid cafes. Let's take a look. <laughs> that looked uncomfortable for him. Just smidge. Just saying. Um, the whole backdrop of this is very cutesy. We're in Akihabara, Tokyo today, and we're about to go into a maid cafe. If you're not familiar with the concept, basically it's a cafe full of young girls dressed like maids who serve food and alcohol and drinks. It's got sort of... I, food and alcohol. Young girls dressed like... I can't see how this would go wrong at all. Of a weird uh, reputation. Some people say it's pervy, it's sex work, it's a strip club, um, it's full of weird dudes. But we're gonna get to the bottom of all of that by asking the girls that work there what makes them want to put the maid suit on every day and come to work. <laughs> So the girls at the cafe were saying that they typically make around 900 yen as a starting salary, which is uh, pretty normal for someone in the service industry in Japan. The maid cafe started in the What's good? What should I get? Combo. Ah, Combo. Okay, can I get uh, a cup of coffee? So I couldn't just do the dance without the food? This with, with the dance? Um, I think I'm gonna do alcohol. Yeah. So I've just ordered a cocktail and a live dance. Um, I have no idea what that's gonna look like, but we're gonna find out. Something tells me um, the the dances you order at this place are a little bit different than the dances you can probably get in other clubs. Just saying. Right, right. Saka, saka. Saka, saka. Okay. We are. Wow, okay. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> that is delicious. <laughs> See, now that's... You know, I... It, it seems like the places that are like that are probably marketed as so. So the fact that people go in there and automatically make assumptions, no bueno. That's not cool. Like, granted, it's it's a form of role play. It's a form of like, you know, role play through cosplay. Well, I would say cosplay basically, I mean, but yeah, it's kind of what that is. But still, I mean, without there being some kind of like disclaimer or, hey, this is what's offered within here. You mean you go to a strip club and some other places, you, you kind of know what you're getting into because it kind of spells itself out. Uh. <laughs> this is my this is my photograph. Yeah, they've drawn on it. It is adorable. I will keep this forever. Thank you. So, 
ファン投票みたいな投票とかがあるんですけどそういうのであの活躍してっていうかちょっと上位とかに上がったりしてそういうのを親に見せたらじゃあもう今はこう人気いや<笑>あやめさんとかほどでは全然及ばないですけどすごいあの頑張ってるっていうのは親も認めてくれてて。So the last part is the dance. So it seems just for just watching just this far and listening to the girls, this is part performance and part like Uber customer service. Like they aim to please, but not like that kind of please. You know what I mean?、Um, <laughs> It's definitely, this is definitely. I'm sure this is one of those things you have to probably first hand experience to, you know, get a proper type of read on. But it, it, it seems like, number one, all the girls, they, they enjoy the performance part of it as much as they enjoy just, you know, the work part of it. $7.90 an hour.、Um, I don't know how that translates over there as far as how good or bad of a job that actually is. But、um, here, Working in the service industry, you know, food service in industry, and making $7.90 an hour.、Uh, you're like a shift manager or something like that. <laughs> a lot of places, like for real. We went to a maid cafe today to figure out is it weird, is it strange, is it pervy? The answer is it's fairly innocent. I think there are some guys that might take it a little too seriously, but for the most part, it's young girls having a fun time, dancing, serving fun drinks. See, I, I've read up a little bit about them. At least, you know, I took and Googled what the fuck is a maid cafe, basically. And it seems like they mostly catered like otaku people that, you know, strong passion in a lot of that is young guys that take and have、uh, their overriding passion is anime and manga. And unfortunately, with that, there's a lot of, lot of stuff in anime and manga that would distort maybe their perceptions going in.、Uh, so. Very much the whole kawaii type vibe is what it seems like because it's very cutesy, very just you know, bubbly and stuff like that. With the maids, with the outfits, with the whole decor that they've got within that cafe, I'm just it's like Basically, for me, it looks like a maid cosplay cafe. Like, they, they dress up as maids, and、uh, it's just customer service to the utmost, basically, with live shows. It's. Definitely don't have that kind of stuff around here. So, I'm guessing it's something you probably really have to experience firsthand to take and get a full, like, get the full. 
experienced, the, you know, full nine yards of what's going on. Um, I don't know, still, just, just watching the video, it just seems so, seems like a weird concept. Of course, and again, we don't have stuff like that over here. So something like that's going to be a weird concept. But then again, in a place where anime and manga has such a strong uh, following in that sense, especially from a financial standpoint for the business owners that start these made cafes, it probably makes complete sense because you're going to have people constantly in there because that's that fits that whole vibe and aesthetic for the most part. So, hmm. Entertainment restaurant. So that was that was interesting. That was interesting. Definitely. I've taken dive a little bit more into just Japanese culture as a whole, I think. Um, I've always wanted to visit Japan. Just There's so much history there. Uh, but also that the culture is different, way different over there than it is over here, or even over in the UK, which I've been reacting to for over a year now. So it, it's, 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 it's wild to take and just see an aspect, a small, like, minuscule aspect of the culture and it again it's it's so foreign as far as most time over here the entertainment restaurants they're not like that just saying um like you've got entertainment restaurant for kids like chuck e cheese <laughs> which has games and stuff like that and then you got entertainment restaurants for adults uh like the the, the topless steak joints and dave and buster's like that's your options <laughs> for the most part or you go to you know unless it's a comedy club and you get dinner there and watch a joke or something like that um so yeah you know it's i don't know it, it's fascinating and weird at the same time so there you have it truth behind japanese made cafes which really didn't shed any kind of light hardly whatsoever um other than just, I mean, it did in a way, but at the same point in time, it still left me more questions than I have answers. So, y'all be good to each other. Love yourselves. Peace.